Solve exponential equations using exponent properties. Let's look at the first one. I have 4 to the x equals 0 0.125. I'm not sure what to do yet, but I know that 0 0.125 is 1 over 8. Now, I want to get the same base. I'm looking at 4. Well, I know that 2 to the second is 4. So I'm going to do 2 to the second to the x. Now, 8 is pretty cool because I can write 2 to the third to get me 8. When I look at these, I do have a similar base, but the problem is 2 to the third is in the denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to have 2 to the x equals 2 to the third is actually going to be 2 to the negative 3. Yep, because remember, we're doing the reciprocal. So now I have the same base. Awesome. 2x equals negative 3. Divide by 2. And so x equals negative 3 halves. And when you check it, it works. Let's look at the second one here. I have 8 to the 2x plus 1 and then 0 0.25 to the 4 minus 3x. Well, we're going to do basically the same thing here. I know that 8 is 2 to the third power, so I'm going to fix that right away. Okay. And I know that 0 0.125 is 1 over 2 to the third, all to the 4 minus 3x. Well, I have 2s. That's pretty great. Uh, but the problem is, in the second piece here, is that the 2 is in the denominator. So we need to fix that. I'm going to have 2 to the third to the 2x plus 1 equals. Now, I have it in the denominator. Now, how am I going to do it? I'm just going to do the reciprocal. I'm going to say 2 to the negative 3 all to the 4 minus 3x. Now, this might be a little confusing here. I have 1 over 2 to the third. That's the same thing as saying 2 to the negative 3 over 1. Now remember this negative doesn't make it a positive negative. It actually flips it. It turns it into the reciprocal. So that's why I could do 2 to the negative 3. Now we're going to do 2 to the third times 2x plus 1 equals 2 to the negative 3, 4 minus 3x. Awesome. We have the same base, which is pretty cool. We're going to do 3 times 2x plus 1 equals negative 3 times 4 minus 3x. I'm going to use the distributive property. I know that I could divide both sides by 3 or negative 3, but let's do the distributive property. It's my favorite. So let's do it. 3 times 2 is 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 3x is positive 9x. And now it's just a matter of algebra. I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides. So I have negative 3x plus 3 equals negative 12. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I end up with negative 3x equals negative 15. And when I divide by negative 3, look at that. We get x equals 5. And when we substitute that in to check, that turns out to be our answer. The key to these is reciprocal. And you did it. Good job.